Meredith Morakovic standing by with the Clubhouse Report presented by your local Ford stores. Take it away, Meredith. Thanks, Bob. I'm with Yankees catcher Austin Wells. Austin, 12 innings last night, but you guys came out on top. Can you describe the intensity of that game, especially late? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, having the, the game go that long and being able to come out with the win was uh, really big for us. Um, and it's just, it's one of those games where you come out with a lot of confidence and it kind of really just turns around a, a season, really. So for us, uh, if it was a great win and, and all pretty jacked about it. You mentioned turning around this season. Two straight wins here in Philadelphia. A lot of people regard this Phillies team as the best team in the league, best record in the league coming into this series. Just how much of a challenge is that lineup trying to get guys to navigate through it? Yeah, uh, our staff's done a really good job pitching to their, their lineup, who's arguably one of the best in baseball. So um, props to them and, um, you know, to come out here and um, take the first two, that's huge, and definitely looking to take the third one here today. Six different relievers were used, including Mark Leiter Jr. recently acquired. How odd of a situation was that for you? Had you even met him before you caught him out there in actual game game on the line situation? Yeah, no, I, I had, didn't know what he threw, didn't know anything about him. So um, that was my first time even was like, hey, how you doing? Um, so, uh, no, but he did great, and uh, I know we're excited to have him. And, you know, to manage something like that for him to fly in and come in in a late, late game situation, and, you know, that was huge. Not allowing the guy to get to third uh, early and then shutting him down, I mean, it, you know, it helped us win that game. What type of a challenge is that for you? Who do you how do you plan for that when you're going out there to catch him? Uh, just see what he's got in the warm-ups and then go from there. But um, our, our staff does a good job preparing, so if they um, kind of briefed me shortly on what pitches he was throwing and and in righties and lefties, and then we kind of just went from there. Michael Tonkin pitched the final two innings of yesterday's game. He has been a bright spot in that bullpen all season long, opposing hitters, batting just 175 against him. What has stood out to you about Tonkin since he's become a Yankee? Yeah, Tonk's been great for us. Um, he'll come in in any situation. He doesn't he doesn't care, and he's going to throw the same, and he's going to try and get out. So um, for him, that's huge. Um, and for us, you know, it, it helps us in spots where we need him in the fifth or in, in the eighth, and uh, or like last night in the twelfth. So that was, uh, you know, great for him and great for us. Let's rewind to earlier in the game. Will Warren, 25 years old, made his major league debut. Did you sense any nerves when he was warming up in that bullpen at all? Um, no, not really. Um, you know, Will, he's a competitor and he wants to be out there every chance he gets with the ball. So um, for him to be out here and make his debut, um, you know, it's super awesome. I got to catch him a lot in the minor leagues. Um, so to be able to be back there for him to, uh, yesterday was, was really special for, for him and for me. And, um, you know, I think the whole Yankees organization as well. You mentioned catching him in the minors. What's different about his stuff then to now? Um, he's pretty much the same guy. Um, he's going to get you out with his slider. He's going to try and attack you with his fastballs. So um, he did a good job mixing yesterday. Um, and he gave us really good length, which was uh, key to helping us, you know, really stay competitive through those 12 innings. Aaron Boone has used, been using you in the cleanup spot quite often. Do you enjoy hitting cleanup for the New York Yankees? And what's it like hitting behind Aaron Judge? Yeah, of course. It's a lot of fun. And just being in the lineups um, really just a blessing and so just being able to be a part of it and get to hit behind two of the best hitters in baseball um, it's a lot of fun so um, anywhere in the lineup is cool but the fourth fourth is pretty cool too. I know you like the history of the New York Yankees especially the history when it comes to catchers you have the best slug in July of any Yankees catcher since Jorge Posada back in 2007 is that pretty cool for you to hear? Yeah it's awesome um, definitely Definitely a lot of very good players who've played on the, on the team, so that's cool to hear. And, um, you know, he's a great catcher and a great hitter for the Yankees for a long time, so that's really cool. How much do you dive into the history of the catchers? I know you have a pretty cool pair of cleats back at the stadium where you have Thurman's number, you have Jorge's number, you have Yogi's number. What made you want to do that? Yeah, I just thought it'd be cool being able to, uh, you know, have something to connect a little bit with um, the history of the Yankees. So for me, um, being a part of the Yankees, um, that was important to me to kind of dig into, um, you know, who came before me. So that was, that's what kind of what I was trying to do. Now we have Marcus Stroman over here. He just went through his warm-ups. I thought he wanted to ask a question, but now he is gra gracefully exiting over there. 
What's it been like working with Stroh throughout the course of the season? He's the man. Um, you know, I didn't, I hadn't really known what to expect uh, coming in, and for me being my first year, um, you know, he's been great. He's been great to me. He's been great to everybody on the team, and uh, we're lucky to have him for sure. Hey, I just saw a thing you did for Yankee social media. They asked you about the Olympics, what you would compete in if you could. You said beach volleyball. You think you could hang in beach volleyball? I don't think I could hang, no. I think that would be a lot of fun to do, though. If I had to choose, that would be a lot of fun. Well, Austin, thank you so much for the time. I know a long 12 innings last night, but, of course, the Yankees came out with the win. I'm sure you have stuff to do before first pitch, even though you have a well-deserved afternoon off. So I appreciate the time. Thank you.